let's now look at what we call regret or opportunity loss. Okay. Um, so first of all, let's look at what's called the regret table. It's also called the opportunity loss table. So it's those missed profits or payoffs. What you missed out on. If you made the other decision, are you going to regret it later? What profits are you potentially missing out? What you do to get this regret table, and we're going to look at it in a minute in Excel, you're going to calculate the max value for each outcome. Okay, previously we did it across or down um, the decisions, now we're doing it across the outcomes. We'll see in a minute here. So go across each row. Okay, and now take the difference between those max values and the actual value, values that will give you your regret value. Okay, and we do this for each payoff. Let's have a look and see what this looks like in Excel. Okay, here we are again at our payoff table for our 10 years of um, wood pellet sales. Um, so here is our payoff table, and then here is our regret table. Now, how do we build it again? Well, first, we take in our payoff table, we take and get the maximum for each outcome. So each outcome is each demand in this case. Maybe there's going to be a demand of a million, maybe two million, maybe five million. These outcomes are what we do not have control over. Um, so get the max for each of those. Okay. And copy that down. Awesome. We use these maxes to go get our um, regrets. So now we take the difference between each of these max values and the actual value uh, in that cell. Now what you should do is go and lock the reference to column F. I want to always take the difference between these max values, but I want to be able to move down, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to copy that down and then across. Notice I'm holding that little green box there to copy down and across. Notice that there is no regret for the first four um, demands here for build no, uh, new plant, no. Um, there's only a regret if there's very high demand here. Okay, now let's examine what's called the mini max regret. This is like the best of the worst case scenarios. Uh, what we do first is we take the maximum down each column here, okay, and then we take the smallest or the minimum of those values. So here are our maxima. The smaller of the two is the 2.3 million. So that one right there, that is our mini max value. And the decision related to that is our mini max decision. So it is no, do not build a new plant. If we're looking to optimize the worst case scenario, let's say demand happens to be very low. Well, uh, what should we do if, if we want to kind of, yeah, let's say demand happens to be really low, um, then the best thing we could do is not build the plant. Or if we're worried that demand might be low. Or what you should always do, look at the worst case scenario. Uh, be ready for that. And pick, if you can't handle to lose a whole bunch of money, then you should pick the safe um, scenario, which in this case is not to build that new plant. Okay. Um, so build new plant no is our mini max decision. Little note here when figuring out what to do first with these min and max ones, they're a little bit confusing, mini max. So my little trick is like, I like to add the word of in the middle, min of the maxes, or if you wanted, you could add the word of in here. So mini max becomes min of the maxes. So I add the word of in the middle um, and then I pluralize the end. So take the min of the maxes, i.e. get the maxes first then take the minimum of those. So we got the maxes down each decision first. Here are our maxima. And then we took the smallest of those two, which is the 2.3 million. And now let's look at how to do this in Excel. So here we are. So we just do an equals max on each of the regrets here. So equals max and equals max on our regrets. And then from there, we just choose the smallest of those regrets. So we've looked at the very largest regret for each decision. And out of those largest ones, we've picked the smallest one. So if we want to minimize our possible regret, um, if things were to go badly, for example, um, then do not build the plant. 
Now next um, value to look at is what's called the EOL. Uh, it's also the expected opportunity loss and it's a weighted average of the regrets with the probabilities. And we use the sum product call in Excel to get it. Um, so we just take our probabilities and our regrets, do a sum product on them uh, and do that for both of the columns here. So both of the decisions, build the plan yes or no. Uh, and then we choose the smallest of these values. So this 230,000 is smaller then the 42 million, so choose that one. That becomes our EOL value. Um, and our decision is that no related to it. So do not build the plant if we're using the EOL decision. Um, note EOL stands for the expected opportunity loss. Okay.